Hey, space fans. Get ready for a mind-bending journey into the realm of the most extreme objects in the universe. Today, we're diving into the wild world of magnetars, the cosmic bad boys that make black holes look like cuddly kittens. Buckle up, because things are about to get seriously magnetic. So what exactly is a magnetar? Picture this. You take a star much bigger than our sun, let it explode in a supernova, and then cram all that leftover stellar guts into a sphere about 20 kilometers wide. That's right, we're talking about a neutron star. Already an incredibly dense and bizarre object. But wait, there's more. Now give that neutron star a magnetic field so powerful, it makes Earth's magnetic field look like a dollar store fridge magnet. Boom! You've got yourself a magnetar. These cosmic beasts are the strongest magnets in the known universe, with magnetic fields up to one quadrillion times stronger than Earth's. That's a one followed by 15 zeros, folks. To put that in perspective, if a magnetar were halfway between Earth and the Moon, it could wipe out all the data on every credit card on our planet. Talk about a cosmic pickpocket, but that's not all these stellar oddballs can do. Magnetars are so extreme that they warp the very fabric of space-time around them. They're like the universe's way of saying, hey, you think you understand physics? Hold my cosmic beer. In the intense magnetic field of a magnetar, atoms get stretched into cigar shapes, and the vacuum of space itself becomes polarized. It's like the laws of physics decided to take a vacation and left a toddler in charge. Now you might be wondering, how do these cosmic weirdos form? Well, it all starts with a massive star, at least eight times heavier than our sun. When this stellar heavyweight runs out of fuel, it goes out with a bang, literally. The star explodes in a supernova, leaving behind a super dense core that becomes a neutron star. But some neutron stars are overachievers. They spin incredibly fast and have just the right conditions to amplify their magnetic fields to ludicrous levels. And voila, a magnetar is born. It's like the universe's version of an extreme makeover, but instead of a new haircut, you get a magnetic field that could rip you apart atom by atom. Speaking of ripping things apart, let's talk about what would happen if you got too close to a magnetar. Spoiler alert, it's not pretty. If you were to float within 1,000 kilometers of a magnetar, which, by the way, is still ridiculously far in human terms, you'd be in for a bad time. The magnetic field would literally tear you apart at the atomic level. Your atoms would be stretched and distorted, and the electrons would be ripped away from your atoms. You'd essentially become a cloud of ionized particles. It's like the world's worst spa treatment. But magnetars aren't just content with being incredibly dangerous up close. Oh no, they like to make their presence known across vast distances too. In 2004, a magnetar called SGR 1806-20 decided to throw a cosmic tantrum. This stellar drama queen released a burst of energy so powerful that it affected Earth's ionosphere. And get this, this magnetar is about 50,000 light years away. That's like someone sneezing in New York and, and someone in Australia saying, bless you. Magnetars also like to keep astronomers on their toes by occasionally emitting powerful bursts of X-rays and gamma rays. These outbursts can release more energy in a fraction of a second than our sun does in hundreds of thousands of years. It's like comparing a firecracker to a nuclear bomb, except the firecracker is our sun and the nuclear bomb is having a really, really bad day. Now you might be thinking, surely these cosmic powerhouses must be rare, right? Well, you'd be correct. Astronomers estimate that there are only about 30 active magnetars in our entire Milky Way galaxy. That's out of hundreds of billions of stars! Talk about being part of an exclusive club. But here's the kicker. Magnetars don't stay magnetic forever. Their insanely strong magnetic fields decay over time, usually within about 10,000 years. After that, they settle down into a peaceful retirement as regular old neutron stars. It's like they go from being the universe's most extreme headbangers to cosmic couch potatoes. But don't let their rarity fool you. Magnetars have been keeping astronomers busy with their bizarre behavior. Some scientists think they might be responsible for those mysterious fast radio bursts we've been detecting from across the universe. These are incredibly bright, millisecond-long radio pulses that have been puzzling researchers for years. It's like the magnetars are cosmic pranksters, sending out intergalactic prank calls just to mess with us. Studying magnetars isn't just about satisfying our curiosity about weird space stuff, though that's a pretty good reason on its own. 
Understanding these extreme objects can help us learn more about the fundamentals of physics. They're like cosmic laboratories testing the laws of nature in conditions we could never recreate on Earth. Plus, who knows? Maybe one day we'll figure out how to harness the power of magnetars. Imagine having a magnetar-powered fridge magnet. You'd never lose your shopping list again. Of course, your fridge, house, and possibly your entire neighborhood might get obliterated. But hey, no pain, no gain, right? In all seriousness, magnetars represent some of the most extreme and fascinating objects in our universe. They're a reminder of just how wild and wonderful the cosmos can be. From their birth in the violent deaths of massive stars, to their brief but intense lives as cosmic magnetic powerhouses, magnetars continue to captivate and confound scientists. They push the boundaries of our understanding of physics and challenge us to think beyond our earthly limitations. So the next time you're using a humble fridge magnet, take a moment to appreciate its cosmic cousins out there in the universe. The magnetars might be far away, but they're a testament to the incredible diversity and extremes that exist in our universe. And who knows, maybe they're out there pulsing away, wondering if there's intelligent life on Earth smart enough to understand them. Little do they know, we're working on it one mind-bending discovery at a time. So keep looking up, stay curious, and remember, in the grand cosmic scheme of things, we're all just tiny magnets in a universe full of wonders. Thanks for joining me on this magnetic journey through the cosmos. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more out-of-this-world content. Until next time, keep your electrons aligned and your magnetic field strong. This is Cosmic Magnet Man signing off.